Hey, it's Janice. You know I'm an iPad addict. So let's look quickly at what I'm using for Twitter now. I have been using Twitterific. Friend told me he was using IM Plus. I use that for my instant messaging, but now I'm a totally devotee of the Twitter application. So Twitter for iPad, you can see over here on the far left, it's everything that's normally on your website. So it pulls up my uh, profiles. It can take multiple profiles, which is an awesome, awesome creation. Got your timeline, your mentions. You can see that they actually illuminate with a little blue dot if there's been some activity since you were last on. So you got timeline mentions, your list, um, messages, profile, and the key searches. And it brings up the things that you've already saved on your website, which I love. In terms of mentions, um, I'll look at this real quick because I think this is kind of interesting to me, is what's been going on this morning. I have talk to Chris Chen quite a bit. I look at this message and maybe I forget what she's talking about. You click on it, it actually brings up the full conversation with Chris. And again, you just scroll like you do on an iPad on anything. Up at the top, it lets you, it lets you, um, wow, I drew out another one. It lets you go on and reply, make favorite, retweet, or quote tweet and um, some options to email, translate, or copy to another tweet. Um, love the way it comes up as a reply where it still lets you see what you're replying to. And you can see here, you keep getting multiple frames, all very well organized. Um, I do love the utility of being able to, to scroll across multiple frames. You know, you just keep dragging them. It works really well. Um, and again, you know, you just go up and down in your, your columns. Um, those of us who are very much accustomed to iPads are, are big on that. This seems to take way more of the utility of the iPad than the other stuff. Um, if you want to, you can also go over here and, for instance, this is giving me the timeline of my discussion with Katie this morning. You can also click on Katie's picture and it brings up... Uh, her bio, the things that she has on her page, um, things that you may find of interest. Um, another one here, you see Nelson there. And uh, one of the things that's interesting is you can see it also brings up Nelson's <laughs> list. People who hate list is kind of a funny one. But it also gives you a couple of uh, suggestions on who you may want to follow based on uh, the fact that you must like Nelson if you've pulled that one up. Um, I think it's incredibly useful. You can also do the same thing in terms of a, a hashtag. So I'm clicking on that, Ag Chat, and that tweet by Kathy, and you can see it brings up the most current chats, uh, the most current tweets with Ag Chat as the hashtag. Um, here's the ones that are brought up by Don Mashik. Uh, Minnesota Corn had actually sent him along. So anyway, just thought you guys might want to see it. I won't be using any other Twitter apps until somebody convinces me one is better. This is where you go to, to write a new tweet. Pops up easy. And here is where you set some of your options and your settings. Alright, talk to you guys later.